Hello. So, in the epic words of Kwaitan, quitting is for losers. <laughs> Oliver has caved in after about 21, 25 hours. I'm a quitter. Oh, and quit you're a sinner. Quitters never win. But I feel very good, although, admittedly, it's a bit, it's really similar to how I thought I would feel, because I went for the cigarette, and I felt like, I, I, th- I was anticipating feeling like, it was the same as when I was from Virginia, I thought I was going to feel really dirty after it, but I actually feel really good. My legs feel like jelly, and I don't feel anxious anymore, I don't feel sick anymore, but I am, however, a slave to the tobacco company. You're a drug addict, but you do look a bit, you've got some colour in your cheeks now. Yeah, have I brightened up a bit? Yeah. Well, you can't tell I'm here, because I'm here, we look um, <laughs> albino. Oh, uh, I don't really know. I, Rachel, you were right. Ben, you were right. Mum and Dad, you were right. I can't do it. I, I've got a drug problem. I need to, uh, to kick it. Um, I'm addicted. At least you've admitted that. First stage to quitting is admitting this. Like I actually told you. Quitting is for losers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you'll have a drink now? Do you think well, I'm not, no, I, actually, I'm all right. Um, Do you think that I'm Lent... Not, I'm not addicted to alcohol. <laughs> Do you think Lent is over for us now? <laughs> I think Lent is truly a thing of the past. I feel really... Uh, at least I'll be able to sleep. Do you feel shameful? Do I feel shameful? I feel like I've wasted a day that I could have been smoking in, but <laughs> sadly I didn't. So yeah, but we, we, we were never would have started making these videos. Of us. These videos are here to stay, though, and I think the the quality is going to increase. I hope it. I hope so. I I'm sure everyone watching hopes so. Well, I I hope they do. But we mean we've got two followers, and I think by nature of putting it on YouTube now that below here we're probably going to get some really nasty comments from people who a have the time to watch this fucking nonsense and B to actually compose. To be fair, if you've watched this much of it and you don't like it, then you need to reevaluate your life, reevaluate your life, I can't speak. Reevaluate your uh, morals. Exactly, and I think my only bugbear with YouTube is that it's a breeding ground for like, racism. It, it really <laughs> that's is. That's the only problem with that. Well, there's, there's other things, but that's my one pressing concern. I just think that everyone on YouTube, no matter what you're watching, there's just some bigot, some Nick Griffin et who just feels the need to sort of start bringing up other issues. You know, wrong issues. So that, that that was why I was a bit sceptical about making these videos because you shouldn't take criticism to heart. But I think I will. I think I will really be paying you shouldn't. shouldn't be. But then I shouldn't have <laughs> given up giving up. But I did. Have but you know, it's now twenty five past two in the morning. I really thought I was going to make it past day. Three. I thought you were going to make it at least more than one day. Mm. But, um, well, we just felt that we should update it because a lot of people have taken an interest in this. Um, Thank you for watching stuff. Yeah, and I hope you do. And if you've got any, because we are really sceptical about our uh, uh, sort of like, there's no, this is this is un, un, unscripted, like, and there's no real agenda. So we just go into this, like the two idiots we are, and talk, sort of. For five minutes each time. So I'm saying I don't know why you're looking at me. Um, I was hoping that you take it off. Because no. I think we should, we should, we should start including um, some sort of feature. Yeah. People I, can I, write. I, it. I don't want to. I don't want to become a cliche though. Yeah. Well, I think it'd be interesting if people could suggest features they'd like to see. Yeah. I don't know. Well, if you've got any problems, we're really good at handling advice <laughs> and exposing your problems. On. Yeah, we'll broadcast your problems. Auntie Ollie. Yeah, Auntie Ollie. Oh, yeah, I've got that sort of auntie haircut going <laughs> on. Um, you have a lot of auntie clothes as well. Yeah, a lot of aunties do smoke. Yeah. I've, I've experienced that. you a good auntie, I think. Do you think I make a good aunt? Mm. Yeah. I think I make a better aunt than I would an uncle or father. Because I wouldn't have to be there all the time. Uh, not letting you anywhere near my children. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're your children as well, but they're not anywhere near them. Oh, I, I don't know what to do now. Like, we walked to the shops earlier, didn't we? Yeah. And like, because I was suffering... <laughs> if you smoked earlier, we wouldn't have to do that. Oh, that no, it was nice though. Yeah, we got some strawberry laces. Yeah, I went into kid mode. I went into my infant. I'm going to miss that. I think I'm going to miss... Well, you, <laughs> you do that anyway. I I d- yeah, but I had an excuse when I was giving up smoking. <laughs> but now I'm, I've got no excuses. You like, grow up. 
Well, yeah, I spent a pound on sweets and I had them all on the walk back. I feel sick. Like, mm. I think I've eaten too many. I'm really sick with shame. I'm not sick with shame. Like, I'm going to have a cigarette before I go to bed and feel grand. In the morning, I'll wake up and sit down and feel even better. Do you still want to go to town tomorrow? Yeah. Anyway. So this is just becoming like us talking yeah. under the scrutiny. Oh, I say for five minutes now, we can call it a day. But anyway, yeah, we're like real slackers. <laughs> Our work ethos has really got to be uh, re-evaluated. Yeah, but thanks for watching. Um, yeah, anyone, even if you don't like us, just email and say, you fuckers are doing it wrong, you should be doing this, because cri all criticism is, is constructive. One way or the other. Unless it's not. Unless yeah. it is just literally your shit. <laughs> and I'm a racist. <laughs> and I'm a big racist. <laughs> So yeah, um, I'm going to go for another cigarette. Um, another one? In a, yeah. Okay. In the words of quite some, Quing is for losers. Should we quickly explain at Oh yeah. They're these big tank things that walk in the Star Wars films, and we want one because they're amazing. Although I feel that we shouldn't really have to explain that. I know that we're going to talk about them a lot, because we do seem to be quite... We have mentioned them in every video so far. Yeah, watching back, we've noticed that we do speak about Attats a lot. But if you haven't seen the Star Wars films, then really you've only got yourself to be ashamed of. You shouldn't. They are worth it just for the Attats, I think. I'd say so. And I don't think we should feel ashamed for, for dropping it because, you know, you should know those films. It's common knowledge. So, anyway, anyone out there who's thinking of giving up smoking, don't bother. You could be hit by a car tomorrow and you spend your last day not smoking and enjoying it. So, bear that in mind.